In this problem, we're given some information about the position of a ball at two points in time and its locations at those times on an x-axis. We're asked to find the average velocity over the time interval. This is pretty easy to find with this information, since the average velocity is by definition just the net change in position, or its displacement, divided by the change in time over the interval. So in other words, we just take the final position, which in this case is negative 4.2 centimeters, subtract it from the initial position, 8.4 centimeters in this case, and then divide the whole thing by the same procedure for time. So the final time, 6.1 seconds, subtracted from the initial time, 3.0 seconds. From there, uh, you can just do the math with your calculator or do it by hand. I think a simpler form of this would be uh, to subtract the top, so we get negative 12.6 centimeters in the numerator, divided by uh, 6.1 minus 3 is going to be 3.1 seconds. And then, yeah, if you want, you can put it into your calculator, and you'll find an average velocity of negative 4.1 centimeters per second. And that is our answer. Note that the, that the average velocity we've got here is negative, which indicates the direction, since velocity is a vector. So this problem is a, just a pretty simple application of the formula for average velocity. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you. If you'd like to make a request for a future video, I have a Discord server linked in the description below where you can contact me for requests. But either way, that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day. Bye-bye.